Hello and welcome to Infinity. Let's have a look at the multiply blend mode. So as a quick reminder, blend modes have a base layer on top of that. You have a blend layer. You have a formula, which in this case is multiply, and that results in something that you see. Multiply is a part of the darken set and is probably the most used within that. Uh, and so it's a good one to know and understand and use quite often. And then if you look at what you might see, for example, just taking the example of a just in black and white a monochrome, you've got layer one here, layer two is lighter there. And what you see is actually going to be a combination of these, but the result is always darker. And the reason the result is always darker is because colors are each pixel or each channel, which is red, green and blue, are held as value between naught and one. So in other words, it's a fraction and a fraction times a fraction is always a small fraction, like half times a half is a quarter, you know, and a quarter times even sort of nearly one is going to be less than nearly one. So. The calculation is very, very simply this, that for each of red, green and blue, the blend mode value again times the base mode value. So like this, here's the base layer. And the calculation is to multiply them. So if you had down here on the base 0 0.7 red, 0 0.9 green and 0 0.3 blue. And on the blend layer, you had 0.2 red, 0.2 green and 0.8 blue. Then what you're going to do is multiply them. So the red, the base layer 0.7 times 0.2 is going to be 0.14, which is, of course, less than any of those. And similarly, you get these here. And the result is going to be a smaller one here. This one here, for example, the, the blue, it looks like it's fairly high, but the original here was 0 0.8. Now that's come down quite a lot. Yeah, the scaling isn't great, but that's what you're getting. A few key points about blend multiply. One is it's used very often as kind of smart darkening, that if you want to darken something, it's often the best blend mode to use. If you duplicate a layer, and we look at it at the moment, and then blend them together, everything is darkened, but except black and white, because black is naught, so naught times naught is naught. And white is one, so one times one is one. Everything in between, you're going to get something less. White is effectively then transparent, which means, and black anyway is going to give black, because naught times any number is black. So black will always come through as black, as if you've got black in one layer, always black. If white is in one layer, because it's one times whatever the other layer is, then it's going to be end up the same value. And this happens also at the red, green and blue value, because this is not the whole thing. It's done at each channel at a time, each of red, green and blue. A um, good tip is to reduce opacity when using darkening, use as a kind of volume control and often around sort of a quarter three quarters that sort of middle zone is often good but if if fully up is is works for you absolutely no problems and uh, it's the opposite of the screen blend mode which is in the lighten group and we'll come to that in time typical uses um if the area is a bit too light you can use it to darken it it's often used in like a burning, as in dodge and burn type thing, so you can paint on the darkness. And it's then also used in blending in overlays, for example, textures, things you want to put on top that's going to be darker and so on. OK, let's have a look at some quick examples here. Here, this, this is a good way of showing it. So here we've got a gradient, but we've got one gradient above the other. So if I go here, if I go to the darkened blend mode, nothing's going to happen because it, they're both the same. Whereas multiply, look what happens here. See the way this now is the black effect has spread across. And this means the darker areas are going to spread down. And when you, even if you've got near dark here, so before it's like that, 
So where you've got shadows, the shadows are going to get much darker. Whereas at the other end, something that is light, you know, at the very top end, is going to be also not affected so much. The middle is going to have quite a bit as well, but between the two of them. If I take any, a picture like this, hit Control J to duplicate it, and then go to Multiply, so dark and nothing happens, but Multiply, it darkens it. And then I can use the opacity as the volume control to go but smoothly between the original picture and however much darkening I think looks about right. And there you go, look, see, it's a kind of middle value. Anyway, that's it. And uh, in a future video, we're going to do more details and examples of how to use Multiply for various effects. That's it, and thank you very much for watching.